well in this video we are going to discuss the some common ways how the metabolism is regulated in the body obviously metabolism is not a irregular process as our cell continuously change the requirement of energy and other requirement of nutrients and so on it is constantly regulated according to the needs of body and according to the cells performing in the body and the regulation of metabolism by the signals which arise within the cell is intracellular regulation while uh, the regulation which is uh, due to influence of other surrounding cells is intracellular regulation and uh, regulation also uh, metabolism is also regulated by the way of different hormones which exert their effect through secondary messenger systems so basically intracellular regulation or regulation which is exerted by signal within the cell depends upon the substrate of various reactions obviously if there is no substrate reaction will not proceed if substrate concentration increases the rate of reaction increases if substrate concentration decreases rate of reaction particular reaction decreases so substrate availability is the key factor uh, which regulates the metabolism inside the cells and further uh, the product inhibition also influences the different metabolic reactions some reactions are inhibited by their products some are stimulated by their products in this way the product inhibition or product uh, stimulation also uh, influences the metabolic reaction within the cells this is intracellular regulation uh, similarly reactions are metabolic reactions are also regulated by the influence of surrounding cells and this is intercellular regulation for example uh, surrounding cells may release different different autocoids that influence their surrounding cells and uh, alter their different metabolic processes similarly the surrounding cells may have gap junctions with each other and uh, through these gap junction they exchange various materials which influence their uh, metabolic reactions and metabolic processes and uh, there are different hormones in the body different hormones in the body which are released by different uh, uh, different glands which travel through blood to their uh, target site and exert their effects and um, when majority of hormones exert their effects to secondary messenger systems and this secondary messenger system also influence the metabolic uh, reaction occurring in the cells and these secondary messenger systems are of there are variety of secondary messenger systems while we discuss here the adenylyl cyclase system which proceeds and exerts its effect via cyclic amp pathway so what happens in this pathway or in this secondary messenger system uh, there is cell membrane uh, suppose this is a uh, cell membrane okay and uh, there is a receptor for hormone suppose this is the receptor for hormone and uh, this is a g protein coupled receptor it has seven transmembrane domains so it has seven transmembrane uh, helixes which cross the membrane seven times and it is a g protein coupled receptor and here inside the membrane inside the membrane lies g protein g protein which has three subunits alpha subunit beta subunit and uh, alpha subunit beta subunit and gamma subunit and this alpha subunit is the largest subunit and it is linked normally to gdp so when a hormone comes and binds to the receptor there is a conformational change in this uh, receptor and it triggers the it triggers and activates this g protein as a result this alpha subunit uh, releases gdp gdp and binds to gtp when it's bind to gtp this alpha subunit dissociates from beta and gamma subunit and uh, it moves to activate enzyme which lies in membrane which is adenylyl cyclase this is the adenylyl cyclase enzyme in the membrane which gets activated by this alpha subunit and this enzyme catalyzes the conversion of atp into cyclic amp okay uh, so what happens here what we have discussed overall in this process um, secondary messenger system and secondary messenger system we are discussing the cyclic amp pathway or 
GS pathway. So what happens in this pathway? In this pathway, hormone comes and binds to its receptor on membrane, and this receptor interacts with G protein. What kind of G protein is here? Here is GS protein. GS means stimulatory protein. S is for stimulatory protein. Okay, G protein are of three kinds: GS, GI, and GQ. All these protein have different effects. When hormone binds and activates GS protein, uh, alpha subunit of GS protein releases GDP and binds to GTP. When it binds to GTP, uh, alpha subunit dissociates from beta and gamma subunit and goes to activate adenylyl cyclase. And when this enzyme adenylyl cyclase gets activated, it catalyzes the conversion of ATP into cyclic AMP. So what this cyclic AMP does? This cyclic AMP, uh, cyclic AMP activates the protein kinase A, and this protein kinase A, when it gets activated, it uh, catalyzes the phosphorylation of different enzymes and different proteins. When it phosphorylates different enzyme and proteins, they get activated and they perform their roles. In this way, the uh, hormone. Which binds to G protein coupled receptor exerts its effect to secondary messenger systems. This is the GS stimulatory pathway or adenylyl cyclase pathway, which proceeds and exerts its effect to phosphorylation of different enzymes in the cells. And suppose if here is not GS protein, instead here lies G, instead here lies GI protein. I stands for inhibitory. So, if a hormone binds to receptor and activates GI protein, GI protein in the same way alpha subunit will go and inactivate adenylyl cyclase. When adenylyl cyclase will get inactivated, uh, no, there will be no formation of cyclic AMP and no phosphorylation, and the effect will not be produced. So, cyclic AMP is formed after a while. Cyclic AMP is degraded into AMP by respective enzyme phosphorylase traces, and uh, uh, similarly, when it gets Deactivated the its effect on phospho uh, protein kinase A are also removed and phosphorylation of uh, protein stops and the effect produced by uh, hormone specific hormone stops. So it was all about this common mechanism of scandium messenger system. The remaining mechanism GQ pathway mainly we will discuss in upcoming lectures. Thank you.